tubbers, it's Jackie the Hot Tub Lady. And have you ever had a hot spring spa and that green light is flashing and you just don't know what to do? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to be telling you exactly what needs to happen with that. the hot tub lady and welcome back and today I'm going to talk about this troublesome green light that keeps flashing on and off and when and how you should change your salt water cell. I just want to remind you all that I do do new content every Wednesday and I did say do do so you can all laugh at that but I do put out new content new content every Wednesday and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Looking forward to help you guys out but today is the day I need to actually what I need to do is I need to change the cell on my, my saltwater hot tub. I know that that's what I need to do, but I'm going to kind of go through it with you guys on how you should figure that out. When this green light is flashing, it is telling you that the hot tub needs attention. And so if you look at the control panel here, and when you see this right there, when that is breathing or blinking, saltwater system needs attention. So I'm going to hit that button. And as we open that up, if we can read this screen right here, we have, it says inactive, low salt, check salt cell, and check and replace your cartridge. Me personally, and for most of my customers, the first thing they think that that means that they have to do is they have to add salt. And I would tell you 99% of the time that is not the case. That's why these guys here are your best friend. They test the salt. And so I'm gonna take you guys through that real quick. But these are super important to do that. And anytime you have that error, this is the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna test your salt. And you just take your test strip out and you're gonna swirl it around in the water. And you're gonna give it a quick shake. And then we're gonna count for 20 seconds. And as that's counting, this is actually going to get, get lighter. So this is zero. And what we really wanna be at is about that 1750. And um, we're going to give this just about 20 seconds to give it a good, let it uh, get up to where it needs to be. And well, we're probably about 10, probably, we'll say about now, we're probably about 20 seconds. And so now we're going to line this up. And I actually am a little bit low on this. So I'm going to start with testing and adding just one more cup of salt and see if that fires it up. The reality is, is I know that um, I'm gonna end up having to change my salt cell because it's very, very overdue to change it and I've just been trying to work out a time when I can do a video with you guys. So we'll test that again and we'll make sure we're at that 1750 and then at that point we're gonna change that cell. Okay guys, I added another cup of salt. It's been about 10 minutes and so we are going to test that again and make sure we do have plenty of salt. And again, we're gonna wait about 20 seconds. And is Frank's gonna come in closer to me here, but you can see it's already above 1500 where I was, so we're gonna be just fine. But we'll, get, we'll count, give it just a little tiny bit more. And voila, we're at 1750 on the salt. I still have that error on the salt on the display. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually change that salt cell. So now you guys can see that we're back at that 1750 on the salt, but now we we're, we're still have that error message and we're going to actually change that salt cell. Again, always check your salt before you add salt. Very, very rarely do you actually have to add salt. So to actually change that salt cell, what we're going to do is we're going to click on here and it's going to tell us that that same message that we need to do that. I do want to change my cell this time, so I'm going to hit the off button. Replace cartridge, we're going to hit OK. And now it says turning pumps off. So this is how we do this, is we want to make sure we turn the pumps off. And when we get, once we get this screen, we're good to go. And we're going to go over here and we're going to get our salt cells out. Now it's a really good idea when you get these is I actually mark the date on when I replaced it and I just keep everything in the box so in case it, it doesn't last long enough or something like that, I do keep track of that. Change that, you literally come over here, and you just pop this off, and then you press this little button. Can you get a little closer? You press that button down in, and then you just pull that out. And then you never want to walk away from the hot tub with nothing in there because if you pull that out and there's nothing in there, you can actually drain the hot tub. So it's really important that there's something in there. I'm going to take my new cell and we're going to again press that button. We're going to line it up and put it in there. And then give it a little tug and make sure it's seated in there really well. 
put your cap back on. And then you come back over here and you hit the OK button. And then we're going to give it just a second to fire back up. And so now it says my salt system's inactive. We're going to turn that cycle up. It's going to test. And it takes just a second or two to do that. So we're going to let it get through its testing mode. And so now everything's working great. I have a grandee. I'm actually going to turn mine up to a seven because that's where it needs to be. Now I'm actually going to hit my boost cycle because it's been, I'm a little behind on, on chlorine. So I'm going to actually turn that up. Now I have changed my salt, salt cell. Should be good for another three to four months and I don't have to do that again. But just wanted to let you guys know how and when to do that. And you'll see that my green light is no longer flashing. If this, you found this information helpful, please be sure to watch the next video on the playlist and keep making life epic.